Hey everybody, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Skype and Denise. Um, the reason why I'm doing this again is because uh, things have changed. Um, Guy used uh, Skype with Denise, he integrated Skype with Denise several years ago and things have changed. Now, um, normally when uh, services or applications intertwine with third-party applications or services, they use what's called an API, and this is basically a access where the two can mesh together. Um, fairly recently, in, in December of 2013, the Guile Skype API had expired, which has uh, rendered her somewhat useless when it comes to Skype. However, there are ways around um, around this, so. Uh, we're going to do that and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. Um, first off, this is easy. Okay. Don't get confused. If you are confused, just watch the video again. And I'm going to go very slowly. And um, yeah. First and foremost, if you have Windows 8, you probably have the Windows 8 Skype. That won't work with this because it's just a little bit different. So what I suggest you do is you download the desktop version. So I'm going to launch the desktop version and I'm going to log in. Okay. Okay. Now, a lot of times, not all the time, but sometimes you'll see something like around here, this area. It'll say guile3d.exe uh, wants to use Skype. Allow or decline. Allow it. It's very important. Even though the API expired, it's still very important to allow it. Um, I want you guys to click Tools and then go to Options. Now, this is so important that I'm going to do this first and foremost. So, under Tools and Options, you go down to advanced and then manage other programs to access Skype. This needs to be there. Needs, needs, needs to be. Has to be. Um, if it doesn't, don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to get started. Okay. So we are going to open the command browser. Now I have I have some uh, I have some previous stuff I did with this. I'm going to delete all of this because I'm going to show you from the beginning. Why is it not hanging up or deleting rather? Okay. For whatever reason, it's not doing it, but that's okay. I'll still show you. No problem. Okay. We are going to, under Tools, right here, and Options, Options, there is something called Hotkeys, right here. Now, these are the keyboard shortcuts for Skype, okay? And you can even reassign them, but I'm going to keep them as close as I can. So let's pretend I'm going to program Denise for the answer call, which I already have here, but I'm going to walk you through it anyway as if I did not have it. Um, so you're going to click, if, if yours looks like this or like this, click script, okay? It's probably going to look like that. Click script. So you're going to go to new. Ay, ay, ay. What now? I can hear you. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. You know what? I'm I can gonna, hear you. I'm gonna turn her microphone off. Okay. Oh, you're killing me here. Let's relaunch it. Okay. So we're going to pretend like I don't already have it. We're going to go to new. Okay. 
Now the my command, the new script, the my commands editor will pop up. The my command name is the command, or is basically what you say to trigger these keyboard shortcuts. So uh, judging from this, the answer call with uh, with your voice is just answer call. It's alt page up. Now remember we can change those. So it's alt page up. So I'm going to do answer call. Then I'm going to train her answer call. Done. So the group, I like to be a little organized and uh, I created my own group called Skype. Remember, I already had it on here. So if you don't have Skype, you probably don't. Just make a new group that says Skype. That's what I did. Availability, there's three. There's three things you can do. There's global, application specific, or window specific. Now, global, let's say I, I chose global and I say answer call. Let's say I'm, I'm on the internet and I say answer call it will do it will do the alt page up in in, in Firefox let's see what alt page up does okay in Firefox it does nothing so it's it's useless to do it like that so that's basically useful in case if, if you have something that that uh, you're gonna need to use a keyboard shortcut anywhere on the computer I, I I can't think of an example right now but global is anywhere you are on the computer you could be right here and you could say something with a global command and it'll do whatever shortcut you program to so that's the best way I can describe that so we are going to do application specific now this drop down will list everything that you currently have open or running right now I have Skype running so it's gonna be there if it's not there just browse for it and find it Skype is running on my system right now so it's there okay we're almost done so command type very important you have to go to step by step now what we want is to train her to say when we say answer call to do alt page up when we do alt page up in Skype which is application specific here it will do alt page up which is the keyboard shortcut for answer call so we're gonna go down here to keystrokes we want keystrokes so we're gonna do alt page up and we're gonna hit OK that's it and we save it I already have it, so I'm not going to save it. And it's going to show up right here. Now, you remember this where I said, you know, you can be organized and put group? Or I put Skype as its own group. Whenever you go to grammar, you know, most time it looks like this. Where those are global commands. Those groups you make. It will show up on this drop down and you can like kind of like filter through all your commands if you have a bunch of commands you know this this is very convenient because you just only want to see the Skype commands right now so you do Skype there it is that's it now uh, there's also one answer call with video same deal I'm just gonna edit it uh, my command name answer call with video so I say answer call with video I train it answer call with video done I put it in my Skype group that's not necessary but I did application specific Skype step by step control alt page up answer call with video control alt page up hit save I already did that then you could do hang up alt page down Remember, I'm I'm editing editing these because I already have them. You you don't have them, so you're gonna click new. But it's basically gonna look like this. This is the one for hang up. Hang up is alt page down. Here's the keystroke alt page down. See. So, when someone calls me, and I want to answer with video all I have to say is answer with video answer call with video it's very specific 
if you put answer call with video, you have to say that. You can't say answer with video because you didn't you didn't program that. You said answer call with video. So if you say answer with video, you are totally skipping the word call. You have to say what you programmed. Okay? And it should work like that. Now, uh, you can change these around. Um, ooh, I forgot a major step. The reason why it's not letting me do anything is because I have to enable keyboard shortcuts. Sorry, forgot about that. <laughs> So let's say focus Skype. That's a big one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change loadout and I'm going to do control alt, control alt Q. Okay. Control alt Q. Okay, so I'm going to make a new one, and I'm just going to call this one Skype. Step by step, insert keystrokes, control, alt, Q. Ooh, why did it do that? Oh, I see what's going on here. Let me tell you what just happened. Okay. I assigned control alt Q to focus Skype. Okay. When I tried to assign that in the command browser, I pressed control alt and Q. That's what this is. So instead of letting me program it, it gave, it did what it's supposed to do and gave focus to Skype. Uh, that's a bad example, but there is a way around that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. Control Alt W. And then I'm going to go back here and press Control Alt Q. And then I'm going to go back and Control Alt Q. There we go. Huh. It's pretty much that simple. Okay. Um, mute. What do I have under mute? Press one. Hmm. Uh, delete that. Okay. Mute microphone. Oops. Also, I see I misspelled this. I would I almost misspelled that. You want to make sure it's spelled correctly. Okay. Mute microphone. Skype. Um oh, I haven't even assigned it to anything yet. Uh Control shift, I don't know, Z? Control shift Z. Why not? Control shift Z. Ah. Why not? Control Z. I'll just change this. I hope I'm not confusing you guys, but I'm just matching. These. So now for mute microphone, it's control Z and then it's control Z over here. Okay. Um, how can I test it? Because it's like almost 3 in the morning. I don't know anyone is going to want to Skype at 3 in the morning. Uh, I have an idea. I hit save. So I'm going to turn on her voice recognition and I'm going to say Skype. Okay. Now. If you remember right, Skype, when I say Skype, it gives focus to the, to the Skype program. So let's see if that works. Okay. I can hear you. Skype.
To make a Skype call with Indonese, type call username. To send a Skype message, type Skype username. Opening. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. That was a weird example. That was another weird example. It's because remember, she previously has Skype integration, so she said all that. Okay? She said all that nonsense, whatever. But as you can see right here, she says opening. That's what I wanted her to do. I wanted her to give me focus to the Skype program. Um, uh, what else did I do? Let's try the hang up, okay? Let's try hang up. No. No. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work with this particular call, but let's try it. Wake up. I can hear you. Hang up. Hello. Welcome. It did it. It did it. You see? I said hang up, and it hung up. I didn't even press the mouse. Go to sleep. So that's pretty much it. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Don't know what just happened there. But as you can see, uh, that is pretty much how you do it. Uh, you can go more into detail or whatever. But uh, like I said, it's still very doable. Okay. Um, you might run into a few, a few problems, but just hit us up on the forum and we'll try to get you through it. And uh, yeah, this is... Uh, been another video and I want to say thank you for watching everybody and I want you to subscribe to the channel got more videos on Denise and more tutorials coming your way so uh, uh, subscribe alright thanks a lot guys